It was sometime on a Tuesday, Mr. Paul came logging in. Because, because he knew story time was about to begin. Cause then I'll sing you a song, the ABC song. Sing you a song today. And soon we will be reading whatever comes our way. There was a B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. There was Q, R, S, and a G, U, B, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know, yes I know. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever you're watching this, hope you're doing well. I am taping this on a Tuesday night, which is actually the night before Earth Day. Now, I thought yesterday was the night before Earth Day. Mr. Paul made a mistake, because I thought it was on the 21st, which is today, instead of the 22nd. Ah, nobody's perfect. But, on the bright side, we have plenty of days for another Earth Day story. So this one today we're going to read is called Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. And there is a refrain or like a chorus you're going to hear a lot in this book which goes like this. It was a big big mess, a big big mess. There was a big, big mess. There was a big, big mess. A big, big mess. There was a big, big mess. So get ready to sing that throughout this story. Now I normally play the guitar with this too, but I only have so many hands, so we will go without the musical instrumentation for right now. It's still a great story. So here we go. A one, two, ready, go. The ocean is amazing. Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. His head was full of happy and his heart full of awe. But his smile sank away when he turned around and saw. What did he see? He saw a big, big mess. A big, big mess. There was a big, big mess. There was a big, big mess. A big, big mess. He saw a big, big mess. Uh-oh. Pollution in the ocean. Go back! Whatever could it be, but he couldn't really tell. So he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving and I don't know what to do. I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me too? Ooh, would you like to join him too? Do you think the friend wanted to help? Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer as she grabbed a few supplies. They traveled to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright. But looming in the distance was that dark and distant sight. What did they see? They saw a big, big mess. A big, big mess. They saw a big, big mess. They saw a big, big mess. A big, big mess. They saw a big, big mess. Yeah! What's it made of? They both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. We're gonna find some answers. Would you like to join me, too? Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss. But the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. It was a 
big, big mess, a big, big mess. They saw a big, big mess. It was a big, big mess, a big, big mess. They saw a big, big mess. Who will fix it? Fisher asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving and we don't know what to do. We're gonna find some answers. Would you like to join us too? All as one, said Mrs. Squid as she switched away some junk. The group continued forward toward the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to the conclusion. The problem is us. Mm -hmm. We made the big, big mess. The big, big mess. We made the big, big mess. There was a big, big mess. We made a big, big mess. We made the big, big mess. And how did that make them feel? Sad? Disappointed in themselves? Yep. They froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout. Feeling troubled and uneasy. And some began to pout. Were they stuck with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too, but there is one thing that I know. It's awful that we cause it, but this bad news can be good. For it means that we can solve it if we all agree we should. And finally, silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision, but which one? would they make? Hmm. Are they going to fix the problem or ignore the problem? What do you think? It was a big, big yes. A big, big yes. They'll fix the big, big mess. It was a big, big yes. A big, big yes. They'll fix the big, big mess. We can do what they explain positively, yes and yup. So they all fit in together and they clean the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked hard to fix and remedy the damage that they'd done. Then they talked about their new habits, how to travel with less strays, to reduce their use of plastic and put trash in its right place. Now problems have solutions. So we learn what we can do together we're the answer. Would you like to join us too? Do you want to help the fishies clean up the ocean? Make sure do your part to help keep the earth clean, as clean and nice as possible? I hope it's a big, big yes. A big, big yes. We can clean up the big, big mess. I hope it's a big, big yes. A big, big yes. To help clean up the big, big mess. And that is a pout pout fish cleans up the ocean. And you know, you can't fix a problem if you don't realize and acknowledge that there is a problem. Which is what they did in the book. They had that one moment. Oh, we made this mess. Like, ooh, do we want to admit it? Or do we want to ignore it and put on our blinders? But they kept their eyes open. And they figured out a way to fix the problem that they created. Which is what we all should try to do as much as possible. If we have an accident, acknowledge it and try to fix it. Instead of ignore it and lie about it. Because that doesn't get you anywhere. So, that is the Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. Now it's time to sing Adios Amigos, and I'll see you all manana. One, two, three, four. Adios Amigos, goodbye my friends. Hasta luego, till we meet again. Go la la la, la 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 la. Have a wonderful day. 
la 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 I'll see you on another Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, or Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday, or Monday. Whatever day it is, make it a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye.